Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my guide for the High Society League contract. In this guide, I'll be showing you some quick tips and tricks on how you can get through everything a little bit easier. Starting off with the first investigation mission, which is the Country Club. And because I assume that you know how to drive in this game, we're going to be skipping over all the driving parts and just get right into the good stuff. As soon as you arrive at the country club, you will be greeted by two different cameras. Now, if you really want to avoid those cameras, you can climb on the wall on your left side there. But in all honesty, there really is not much point and you're better off just ignore the cameras and get right into the keypad hacking. For the simple reason that the guards will spot you regardless whether or not you actually avoid the cameras. After successfully hacking the keypad and making your way inside of the country club, you will be greeted by those force guards I mentioned before. Just simply take them out and as soon as you've done that, you can then start hacking into the security terminal. Again, you will be greeted with one of the two usual hacking minigames within GTA Online, which I'm sure you've done before. If you haven't, just simply wait until the red letter is inside of the blue bar. Pretty simple stuff. And as soon as you're done being a hacker man, you can make your way to the area to search for the limo. Now the limo will typically be in one of three locations and it will always be in a parking spot. And honestly, the best way to go about this is just kind of drive around the area until you see this icon on your map. The search area will disappear and thus this blue icon will also show up on your mini map. The game will tell you to start tailing the stretch, however, that takes way too long. So instead, we're shooting the driver in the head, go to his body, touch him inappropriately and then steal his wallet. After that, you simply take the wallet to the agency and mission complete. Which then allows us to move on to the second investigation mission, which is the guest list. This requires you to drive to the mansion, so... Do that and then make your way and try to search the garden for the lawyer. Franklin will be sending you a text message with a picture of the lawyer, but in general you don't really have to worry about what he looks like as it will show up on your radar anyways with the infamous blue dot. If you were like me and wanted to know if you could just simply walk up to him and say hi, how you doing, I really miss you, the guards are going to unfortunately really disagree with that and shoot you dead. For that reason, it is a much wiser idea to take the right side of the house here and then start shooting the guards before they can shoot you. It seems like a more logical approach anyways. One thing that I can tell you is that every person with a gun in their hand is going to want to kill you, so I say return the favor. For the simple reason that the lawyer will not be trying to shoot you and instead will just focus on trying to stay in cover. Obviously, it is highly advised not to start using explosions in this one because, well, the chances of you killing the lawyer by accident is highly likely. Unfortunately, I do speak from personal experience because I blew him up with a sticky bomb. As soon as you've taken out all of the guards, all you have to do is make your way to the lawyer and make sure to use your stun gun. When using your stun gun, you just simply want to shoot the lawyer with it so he is electrocuted and then you can pick up his body and a cutscene will play. And then guess what you have to do? You have to bring him to the agency, which is what we're going to skip over so we can start talking about the finale. The finale itself has some difficulty to it and there's a few things that are worth keeping in mind. First of all, you want to bring enough snacks and armor with you because we're going to be facing quite a few enemies within this mission. As you are entering the billionaire's mansion, you want to make sure to also walk up to the DJ so you can trigger the next part of the mission and thus the dialogue. Trying to get into any sort of different cover beforehand will not trigger the next part of the mission and you'll just be in an endless loop of waiting until something happens. As you approach the DJ, you can just simply keep on moving like I'm doing on screen and then get into this cover position where you have two different options. Either you can wait for the dialogue to finish and you get the order to start intimidating people or you can just start blasting right away like you're in philadelphia whichever option you choose you don't have to worry about any enemies creeping up behind you in this cover position here it's an elevated position and npcs within this game are unable to climb anything so you will be fine here just simply stay in cover as much as you can because while well, they will be shooting you from basically every single possible angle keep an eye on your mini map so you can get a rough idea where exactly they're located 
and obviously if you're on console abuse auto aim as much as you can they will typically be spawning from two different locations at the side of the tennis court as well as on the right side of the fountain will they be coming through the little corridor there and like I mentioned before, you don't really have to worry about either of them, but keep an eye on your minimap so you can get a quick sticky bomb going and blow up a bunch of them to get that imitation meter up a little bit quicker. There's one particular enemy though that you have to keep an eye out for, which is the buzzard. As soon as you see this spawn, make sure to get ready to take it down as quick as possible. Whether you do this with a minigun or a rocket launcher or just shoot out the rotors at the backside of the buzzard, take it down as quick as you can. This is the only enemy that can really do much damage to you, so take it out as quick as you can. As soon as the imitation meter is full, it will trigger a cutscene which will have the billionaire trying to escape by helicopter. This is then your task to then start doing as much damage to the helicopter as possible so it will catch fire and start crashing. Now unfortunately you are unable to lock onto this helicopter with a homing launcher, so the only way to really go about this logically is going to be with bullets. My preferred method was using a heavy sniper which took less than 8 shots to take it down completely. Another option for those folks out there who don't have a heavy sniper, you can also decide to start shooting it while you're driving by just simply using an SMG or any of your preferred drive-by weapon. As soon as you've done enough damage to the helicopter and its health bar has gone down completely, it will catch fire and then crash at the Lago Sancudo area. There you can just simply make your way there by driving to it and make sure to also use the cheeky jump on the bridge so you can get there a little bit quicker. As soon as you get there, just kill the billionaire any way you want and then take the phone. As soon as you've done that, you can then make your way back to the agency yet again. A neat little tip is that there's three possible spawn locations for an air vehicle, which is either going to be the Chula or the Sea Sparrow, as per the job inside of the Social Club website. These are the locations where you can find the vehicle, but in my case, I managed to find the Chula multiple times in the exact same location. So if you want to have a quicker and easier getaway, then make sure to use that. If you are unable to take down the helicopter in time, the billionaire will then make its way to the yacht west of Fort San Kudo. If this happens to you, fear not, you have multiple options of getting around to this. The option number one is by jumping into Fort San Kudo, and don't worry, you won't get any cops on you, and then stealing a jet and start strafing the yacht. As soon as the billionaire is down, you can then parachute down on his yacht and take his phone. Or you can decide to take a jet ski which is located here. However, because the enemies are a little bit accurate and they might murder you multiple times, it is probably advised to take the jet instead of the jet ski. But in general, you shouldn't really have to worry too much about taking too much time, considering that you will have plenty of times and as long as you don't destroy every single vehicle, there'll still be a supercar that you can use to catch up with the helicopter. It doesn't fly away all that fast anyways. And as soon as you've delivered the phone to the agency, it is mission complete, and that also means that it is the end of this guide. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave it a like, subscribe for more, and if you really like what you see on the channel, please do consider becoming a member like Chloe, Roberts, Captain Price, Mad Medicoda, and Shapeshift Gaming. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all later.